The arms are one of the most critical parts of creating a compelling character animator performance. Whether they're just resting on your hips, or you're doing a little wave, or you're gesturing as you're talking, they can add a lot to your animation. However, uh, character animator users in the past have run into a couple of issues with arms. Number one, you don't have a lot of control over the stretchiness, and so you can stretch your arms to just comical proportions, and uh, it doesn't always look uh, like you want it to. The second thing is you don't have a lot of control over where the elbow is bending. So as you're moving your hand around, the elbow kind of is trying to solve and, and you know work itself out in its best way, but sometimes you can run into situations where your arm is in kind of an awkward position that you don't want it to be. The new arm IK behavior gives you a lot of options as to how your elbows will bend as well as the amount that they will stretch or not stretch when you move your arm. So this is giving you a level of control with arm movements that we haven't had previously. So in this tutorial video, we're gonna walk through rigging this character here, a very simple character for arm IK. I'll show you how to add the tags, where to add the behavior, and how to adjust the parameters to get the settings exactly as you want. All right, so here's our basic character setup. Uh, nothing should be too surprising if you've used Character Animator before. We have a character group uh, with a head and body group inside it, and then the arms inside both as independent groups. If this is all sounding foreign to you, uh, check out the Getting Started tutorial, particularly part four, uh, which teaches you how to add limbs to your character, and that'll get you uh, up to catch you up to speed. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is add the arm IK behavior. And I'm gonna do that by going up here and selecting my uh, top level puppet with all the uh, behaviors that get added automatically when you import a character. They show up over here on the right side. And I'm just going to go to plus and arm IK. And that's just going to add it uh, up there with all the others. The main thing you have to think about here is you want arm IK to be at the same level as your dragger behavior, because normally you're dragging the hands around. That's how you're controlling them. So uh, normally you want these both to be at the same level. If they're at different levels, uh, you can sometimes run into some issues. Now by default, nothing is going to happen yet because I haven't identified the different parts that arm IK works with. And like a lot of behaviors, if I dig into the handles section down down here, I can see the different tags that arm IK is looking for, neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, um, and I see that I have zero instances of each of these. So I'm going to have to dig in and start adding them. All right, so let's select the left arm first. And as we've you know shown before, you want the origin up here where uh, you know it's connected to the body. We've got two sticks for kind of the bicep and forearm area. And then we've added a draggable handle down here for the dragger uh, to be able to be our point where we're dragging with the mouse or fingers on a touch enabled device. So we're gonna do three things to this. Number one, we're gonna select the origin uh, up here and we're gonna tag that as a left shoulder. I'm using my tag section over here and I'm using the pictures, but you can always go to the text-based tags if that's easier for you. Um, so we're gonna do that as left shoulder. I'm gonna select my draggable handle that's already there and I'm going to select and tag that as a left wrist. And then finally, I'm gonna make sure my handle tool is selected down here, this little circle. And I'm gonna add a new handle right there in the middle of the elbow. And I'm going to tag that as left elbow. So now I've got the three parts that are most critical to uh, the arm IK, the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. I'll do the exact same thing for the right arm. I'll select this shoulder, tag that as the sh uh, shoulder, make a new handle, make that the elbow, and select this existing draggable handle and change that into the wrist. Now the behavior said it was also looking for a neck tag, so I'm gonna go into my head, I'm going to find the origin for the head, and I will tag that as a neck. So let's make sure I've got everything right. I'll select my uh, top level character here and look in my handle section, and as expected, now one instance of each of these tags is showing up, and that's exactly what I want. I, I don't want two right shoulders, I don't want to have zero right wrists. I wanna make sure that each of these has a one next to it in order for this to work correctly. So when I go into record mode, I can see that the elbow is really favoring one direction. It's really bending in one way, and it's really hard, almost impossible, to try to bend it the other way. Same with this one. Uh, if I try to wave, it's not really letting me because it's really favoring this one direction. So why are these things uh, happening you know, one way? Why, how do we pick this initial direction? Well, it all depends on the placement of those shoulder, uh, wrist, and elbow tags. 
So back in rig mode, let's do a little experiment. Let's see what happens when I really favor one side with the left elbow tag and uh, same with the right elbow. I'm gonna really start favor kind of the outer area. So by making that elbow tag more outward, the elbows are going to, by default, move inward. And the same is true the other way. If I drag this elbow in here and this elbow in here, then the arms are going to, by default, bend the other way. So remember, this character, when I first brought him in, his arms were in a standard A position. Um, and so when your arms are straight like that, it's gonna be kind of you know up to you where those elbows go. However, if you brought in your character artwork with the arms you know bent, pre-bent already, so something, you know, this is how your original PSD or AI file looked they're already gonna favor one direction or the other because of the placement and orientation of uh, you know where you're putting your elbow, shoulder, and wrist tags. So it's just time to consider when you're bringing in the, uh, the artwork and how you're setting up your character. All right, so let's twirl open our arm IK behavior and see what control options we have inside. First, we have reverse bin left and reverse bin right. And this is gonna be uh, related to where you put those left and right tags. Remember, when we talk about left and right in character animator, we're talking about the left and right side of the character, not the left and right side of the screen. So when I click reverse bin left, that left arm is going to immediately reverse to the other way. Um, and same thing with the right. So for a quick fix, you're trying to animate something, you need the elbow one way in one scene, but the elbow another way in another scene, this is an easy way to be able to do it. Elbow strength is basically gonna determine how strong arm IK is. So how strong that elbow is really going to favor one side or the other. If I change this to zero, it's gonna be more like what we saw earlier where I can bend both ways um, and not have uh, you know any favor over one or the other but as I move up um, you'll see it really start to favor um, you know one direction or the other so this gives you a level of control and for each character you may want to adjust this uh, some elbows may feel you know a little bit too strong and strict and others might feel too loose so it's worth playing around with this slider to see exactly um, what works best for your character and finally, stretchiness. So no more stretchy arms. Even if I have my mouse all the way over here in the upper right corner, notice the arm is only stretching about 10% because that's what I have it set here. If I set it to 1%, it's gonna be really strict. Now notice when you really uh, constrain the stretchiness, you can tend to get this popping uh, feeling in the arms, particularly when you're transitioning from elbow bends, and it can look a little choppy. So my advice would be don't overdo this too much. And in fact, maybe a little stretch is okay if it means a little bit smoother uh, arm movements. So if I were to change elbow strength to 0% and stretchiness to 100%, I essentially get the old way of uh, doing things. The arm is going to move and react a lot like it did previously to arm IK. Now if you're recording with arm IK, remember that what is set here is a default. And whatever you're setting, you know, 70%, 10%, this is going to work across the whole puppet and timeline. And if you change this value, it's also going to affect the whole timeline. So if you only want these arm, uh, you you know, specific rules to only affect one part of your timeline or one scene or one, uh, you know, little performance part, you want to make sure to arm those. So whenever you arm these, that just means whatever you have, whatever values here uh, are going to show up recorded in the timeline and be set in stone and can be different from your default values. Now, if you haven't watched the uh, replays tutorial that uh, we launched today as well, make sure to check that out. Um, the link is in the video description below because that goes into a little more information about the relationship with arm IK and replays uh, when you're moving between different poses. But I wanted to add one more trick and that's how to create uh, a flexible arm IK system, basically being able to turn it on or off uh, at any moment's notice with a replay trigger. All right, so let's say these are the settings that I like. Uh, these are the way I want the arms to bend. This is the elbow strength and stretchiness. So I'm going to arm all of these. I'm going to press record and I'll stop. And now those values have been recorded in the timeline. So I'm going to select these bottom two and I'm going to make sure they blend in and they blend out to basically ease into each of these uh, specific values. Then I'm going to select all four of these, right click, create replay and trigger, and arm IK with a four next to it is going to show up in my replace panel. With it selected, I'm going to go down here and change this to stop sustain replay. 
and the trigger appears over here in my triggers panel and I will just set this to three. So basically I've set something for when I press the three key, these four arm IK parameters are going to come into play. All right, so now I've disarmed all this stuff and I'm gonna set different defaults. In fact, I'm gonna set uh, everything back to how it used to be before care, uh, this latest version of Character Animator. So I still have the stretchy arms, I still have the elbows that can bend either way. And so what's cool about this is uh, whenever I hold down the three key, that arm IK is going to take over and I'm holding it down. So arm IK, the replay is kind of in that uh, still playing uh, stop sustain position and the arms are going to gracefully move into that, uh, you know, that that strict arm IK rule set. And when I let go, they're going to move back. So this is a great way to um, have an on demand key to fix an elbow uh, treatment and do it in kind of a nice, smooth way where the strength uh, for the, you know, the elbow strength and the stretchiness both change and gradually blend in and out to uh, make those arm movements and transitions as smooth as possible. So that is arm IK. Uh, it's really easy to just jump in here and play around with these and get your arms, your elbows bending exactly the way you want, limit the amount of stretchiness exactly the, the way you want, and have a lot more control over how your arm movements are going to look. So if you're using arm IK, we would love to see uh, what you're working on. So please use hashtag character animator on social media uh, for us to find that stuff. And if you run into any problems with any of this, anything hasn't been clear here, or you're running into trouble, or your elbows aren't bending the right way, your arms are becoming detached, uh, things are just looking weird, the best place to get help uh, is the official character animator forms. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and have fun.